in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. One word from God can change your life forever. Welcome to Life in the Word with Pastor Chuks Ozabon. We are now in union with Christ. We have his life and his nature, enabling us to live like him. Your life will not be a testimony. It will be a testimony to the fact that Jesus died and rose again. It will be a testimony to the fact that the curse is broken, the curse is defeated, and the blessing is operational. It will be a testimony to the fact that we are not of this world. It will be a testimony to the fact that our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or think according to the power of us. Shout hallelujah! Isn't our God so good? Just lift up your hands to Him. Just lift up your hands to Him. Thank you, our Father. What an awesome God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. This is all. Let's just welcome the Holy Ghost. What an awesome night. Your lives are not going to remain the same. Things are going to move. Now things will move. You should be broken. You are going into a new level of favor and grace. Let's just welcome the Holy Ghost. Just pray in tongues. Gajima. Sande yako shoko zilima. Yes, Lord. Kasunde yebre koto zilande ya. Thank you, our God. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Gage. On your own, welcome the Holy Ghost. Tonight is your night. Your night of favor, your night of results. Your night of answers. Just wave your hands to him. Let's welcome him. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Father. Holy Spirit, thou art
to turn off our God and our Savior, sweet Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Joy is mine for Gosta and I to welcome you all. The entire Grace's family says welcome. Praise Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. All, all the bishops, all the pastors, the evangelists, church leaders, Business leaders, partners of Chukumazaba Ministries, we thank you very much for coming. Government officials, mighty men of valor, your own right. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. You see, ministry is not the four walls. Ministry is about people. So we honor you, we value you, we appreciate you. Thank you so very much for coming. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Particularly those of you that had to come from outside Johannesburg, those that came from Bulukwane, Durban, Cape Town, London, and the rest of Europe. Just wave your hands to the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. I know one thing. You will not live here the same way you came. That's what says that in the presence of the Lord there's the fullness of joy. And at his right hand that pleasures forevermore. Isn't our God so, so good? Hallelujah. Now, God's word tells us that the things that are impossible with men or in natural terms are possible with God. For with God, nothing is ever impossible. Mark 10, 27. Now, for some of us here tonight, the only way our situation is going to change will be by a supernatural display of God's power. Amen. Only the hand of God can change your situation. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Not IVF, not another bank loan, not an uncle or an auntie, Amen. only the power of God. So tonight, join me as we begin. Let's take a giant step of faith. Amen. And thank God, just tell God how much we trust Him. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. God's word says in Psalm 55, verse 22, He said, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, you, and He shall sustain thee. Thank you, Lord. He said, He will not suffer the righteous to be moved. Yes, Lord. So let us deliberately release everything that has tried to make our life a misery to God. Insist in your heart, this year will not be like last year. Can you just lift up your hands to him? There is this song that I know. Sandy, Miguel,
will escape the fire of God's love tonight. No sickness will escape the hammer of the word of God. Everything that has made your life a mystery will be judged tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Before you take your seats, Papi, let's just pray a bit and then we'll take it from there. Hallelujah. That scripture, Jeremiah 23 verse 29. Thank you, Father. Are you there? He says, is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. The rock that speaks of stubborn challenges, issues that want to follow you day after day, year after year. Every scheme the enemy has put in place to make 2015 look like 2014. Tonight, we say no way. 
So join me in praying. God's word says, if two shall agree on earth as touching anything, it shall be done by Father who is in heaven. In Hallelujah. I want you to rebuke every factor that has tried to make your life a misery. Rebuke every bondage, every your command and broken. You get it? Shall we all pray together? And Lord and our God, in Jesus' name, we join our faith tonight. We take authority over every scheme of hell. Whatever the enemy has set in motion, Lord, to embarrass us, to embarrass us, to resist us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we challenge them by the fire of the Spirit of God. We command a change. We command a change. We command a change. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Alpha. Let me tell your neighbor, my life will not remain the same. Say it again, my life will not remain the same. As you do that, you may be seated. God bless you. You hang on there. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, thank you all very, very much for coming. All our good friends, glad to see you. This is destiny now. Hallelujah. Something unique is happening already. Amen. Even before hands are laid on you, some of you, are, your miracles have already manifested. Amen. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to relax in God's presence. We have just closed about two and a half hours or three hours to spend. Great things are in store for you. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you can sense it? Can you yes. just sense it? Yes. That your life is changing already. Amen. 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 You know, there's this sweet song for me for worship. There's this sweet song, he says, There is a sweet anointing, a sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Jesus, any dead part of your body, any organ that 
God is not working, I speak life, I speak restoration, I speak wellness, I speak wholeness in the name of the Lord Jesus. I say be healed in your mind, be healed in your body, be well in your legs, let your bones straighten out in the name of the Lord Jesus. If you receive that shout, hallelujah. chapter 3, verses 21 and 22. I need you to make some statements that will set the course for your life this year. It will set the tone. Are you there? Are you there? It says, it says, now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heavens opened. Amen. Now, when the heavens over you open, you become unlimited. Your skin color does not matter anymore. Whether you have matric or PhD, is it material? Says Jesus, praying the heavens open. Now, look at what happened in the next verse. Look at what now happened. Hallelujah. He said, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily ship like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved son. In thee I'm well pleased. This is what I want you to pray about. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. You are going to insist, say, Lord, as I pray tonight, let the heavens over me open. I have been this way for too long. I've been too lonely for too long. I've been broke for too long. I've been sick for too long. I've been a beggar for too long. I've looked like a failure for too long. Let the heavens over me open. And then you will insist, let your voice address every issue of shame in my life. When God speaks, everything hears. Your body will hear it. Your bank account will hear it. Your enemies will hear it. Let the voice of God tonight address every issue of shame in my life. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice, let us pray. And Lord and our God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, our Father, we come in agreement. And Lord, we pray that as we pray today, I lay hands upon myself. Lord, I ask you, let the heavens open, the heavens over me. Let them open in the name of the Lord Jesus. I claim open heavens. I claim open heavens. I claim open heavens. I claim open heavens. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray that every limitation bow to the authority, the power of the word of God. Let there be a change, a transformation, a difference by the power of the Spirit of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Our God, let the heavens open. The heavens of our presence. The heavens of our gospel. Lord, I ask you, let your voice, the voice of God, let it address every issue of shame, every reproach in my life, every bondage, every captivity, every limitation. Let your voice, the voice of God, the voice of God that is mightier than the sound of many waters, let it address every bondage, every complication. Jesus, our God, we ask that you will speak, speak. 